So let me take you through my blowout routine. So my hair is already stretched here. It's just dry, needs a refresher, and needs to be washed. I used to be a no heat girl, but I realized the more I stretch my hair and get trims, the healthier and fuller it was growing. So I've just been getting blowouts done professionally because it's easier. And then when I'm at home sometimes and just need a refresher, I've learned how to blow out my hair on my own. I personally am obsessed with how thick my hair is and I just love being black, honestly, truly. It's a miracle. So I dampened my hair and detangled it off camera with a Demon brush just to make it a little easier, make the wash process smoother. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and my stylist told me to always do this, is completely rinse my hair with the water. Before I add any shampoo, any conditioner, stuff like that, I'm just gonna drench my hair in water, clean it out. It should be clean with the water first. Usually I do this in the sink so I don't have to take a full shower, but I had just come from the gym so I was like, let me just do this in the shower. If you watched my last video from a few years ago, you'll notice there's a significant difference in my hair. The ends are different, it's fuller, it's longer. So this is my second time using Curl Days products. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shampoo first. It smells really good, but most hair products do. Then we vigorously rinse, making sure we get all the shampoo out from the scalp, from the hair. Now it's time for the conditioner. I really wish I shot this at a better angle, but if you know me, you know I always detangle while the conditioner is in. I have a better detangling brush, like one of the ones that kind of move, um, but I could only find my Demon brush at the time, so it's what I had to work with. So I detangle in sections, usually about four, and then twist once the hair is detangled, just so, you know, it kind of doesn't get in the way. Always start at the ends and then work your way up to the roots. That's how you avoid breakage. Get a good look at these little dookie twists and now it's time to rinse out the conditioner. 
So sometimes I'll like do a hair mask or leave the conditioner in for longer, put a plastic wrap on and like steam the hair. But today I didn't have much time for that. So I was just like conditioner, then rinse, like as if I was in the salon. Yeah, baby look at that face my face is always so funny when i'm doing my hair like i always look uncomfortable <laughs> Okay, and then the wash portion of the day is done. I grab my microfiber towel or sometimes a t-shirt and dry my hair. Both options just avoid um, some of the tugging the towels do. But they still use towels in salon, so does it make a big difference? Who knows? I take a dance break because I'm tired and I need to keep my motivation up. <laughs> so I bought this new blow dryer from Amazon. This is going to be my first time using it. So um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Off camera, I braided my hair into four sections and I'm going to blow it out section by section. And I love the comb piece because it makes everything 10 times easier i don't know why i didn't always have a blow dryer with a comb piece am i crazy if you have hair texture like mine you should have a comb piece no ifs ands or buts also different from my last update my hair is a little more heat trained now meaning that it gets straighter quicker um and this is just with blowouts like um i don't even flat iron my hair often every once in a while but yeah, now my hair is heat trained, so it makes the blowouts go a lot faster. So some of you, this might, uh, this process might take longer than this, but you know, hey. As usual, detangling takes bricks. <laughs> I was using the wide tooth comb now because um, my Denman brush was so dirty from the conditioner and I also just didn't have time to clean it. I was in a rush, pretty much. So, yep, now the hair is ready to be blown out. Once again, starting at the ends and then working my way up to the roots. Also, I should note that my hair felt really soft um, after using the Curl Days products. So just a note being paid they just sent me free stuff and I was like you know what I'll try it Once again, sometimes you gotta dance to motivate yourself to keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention that you guys have probably noticed I haven't put on any heat protectant or any product. And the reason for that is my hairstylist explained it to me. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this right, but like it can weigh down the hair or like the oils can like, I don't know, like prevent the hair from straightening properly or something like that. But anyway, like I trust her because she has had my hair growing healthily, okay? She puts the products on before she flat irons, but when it's just a blowout, no products after the wash. And honestly, my hair is shiny after, and it's just been the best advice I've gotten because my hair doesn't feel like heavy and weighed down with product after. Make sure you dry those roots because that's where the hair is gonna be wet.
And once I finish the last section, I just do a run through of the entire head, just in case I missed any spots. Blow drying your hair is not nearly as bad as constantly flat ironing your hair, and that's for sure. finished and I'm just gonna show off my hair and how fluffy it is for the remainder of the time <laughs> I recently started doing fro bangs, but it's a little easier to do when the hair is a little less straight if that makes sense Voila, that's a wrap. I think this took me like a little over an hour, but I was also like taking my sweet time, so I'm not sure, but it's going pretty faster now than it used to. Like, this is honestly a breeze now. And then you can style to your liking. Like, sometimes I like to do a little two pigtails in front. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. More on the way. And comment if you want to see something else from me.